and opposing him, hailing from Ellen, he is Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with contest number three. This is for three minute rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the black colour shorts trimmed with silver. At the weight, he's still 10 stone, 4 ounces. Tonight is his 88th professional contest. He hails from Reading, presenting Ima Smokin' Ria. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the red clutch shorts trimmed with white. At the weight he scaled, 10 stone, 4 pounds, 8 ounces. He has a perfect unblemished record. Three contests, three wins. He hails from the smooth camp, presenting from Earlham, the undefeated Lee Lightning Gillespie. Timekeeper at the bell, Jimmy Kemp Patrick. Barry's John Latham is in charge of the action. Four three minute rounds. Four three minute rounds. Lee Gillespie versus Ibra Riaz. Ibra Riaz has been known to do a bit of the Ric Flair's in there. Don't be surprised if you hear the odd. He's another tough man, isn't he? There he is. How every week never, never gets stopped. Looks beat up now, don't he? Look at him over there. He's only, apparently he's only like 25 as well, you know. 25? Second out, round one. Here we go, Gillespie Riaz, fight number three. Nine fight card here tonight, brought to you from the Victoria Warehouse. VIP, promoting, VIP Boxing Promotion, Steve Wood, in association with Red Star Boxing. Good. Top of the bill, WBC, Youth Gold. Interrupt you there now. We've not quite mastered this, have we? We've not got. No. We're getting better, aren't we? So yeah, we're getting, again, we're getting there, there, yeah. mate. We're getting there. Put two got... counter punches together. That's what it is, Al. If you see a big guy like me, you think I'm a brawler, mate. I'm a technician. You can see it, mate. You can see it. The knowledge is there. The knowledge is there. It's only a height difference in there, and a rate right difference. Yeah, there's a lot of the bigger man there, Gillespie, don't it? Good chart job. We sold a few tickets as well. Bringing that right hand in there. Get the tweets coming in, guys. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Tweet me in if you've got a question, something you want to debate. I'm going to ask you all about early stoppages. You know, we seem to, when you read on Twitter and what have you, apparently, you know, the UK is kind of. We're guilty of a lot of early stoppages. Well, you know, how do you feel? I mean, I know when you, you know, I've, I've spoken to the mayor of Middleton, and when you do get a stoppage, Al, finally, we are, it's going to go down as a bank holiday in Middleton. The flags yeah. will be at half mast. I'm going to get an open bus yeah. when I finally get a stoppage. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think it depends on um, what's on the line. Me yeah. as a fighter, they say, obviously, I want, I'd never want to get a stoppage yeah. fight until there's nothing left, but it depends what's on the line. If it's, if it's a, um, a four round contest, someone's just getting beat up, then the ref's got every right to step in, it's saving him for another day, isn't it? With the world's tight on the line, you've got to give the fighter, I think, every opportunity. They can at the end of the day, but it's a tough, it's a tough one in there for the ref and the reckon. Well, you know, recent, you know, just thinking, obviously, high profile stoppages, Frotch and Groves is one that obviously springs to mind. I was there on the night, and at the time, I thought, I thought it was a good stoppage. 
Yeah. Uh, watched it back a, a little bit, and it was almost as if Howard Foster was kind of he had to do it because of how they ended up in other position. Or I, you know, I think Groves financially will be happy that yeah. that he got stopped the way he did. But me watching it on the telly, I thought it, it could have. We needed a conclusive decision, didn't we? So an extra five, ten seconds, you, you would have knew. It didn't give him time to regroup. He just stopped the contest. Tweels in, if you've got a controversial stoppage, one that rings to mind. Springs to mind, rings to mind, don't know. Drop us a tweet, hashtag VIP Boxing Live, let us know. Tweels in, what have we played of tonight's first two fights, Declan West. Good body so, shot. Rubs over points victory, Morgan Jackson going over for stoppage. Nice boxing there from Gillespie. Yeah, very controlled. Chavy baseball caps in that corner there, just looking at him out. Yeah, they put that on for a bit of style, aren't yeah. they? Trying to bring down the age group, age range, I reckon. Look like, uh, is it Goldie looking chain or whatever it is? Look <laughs> like, like when the local village club together to send someone to Disneyland, you know, and they've not been very well and they've just recovered. It looks like, like Gary Boob, he's, a, he's trying to bring back a youth there, isn't he? I don't know how much you've had to do with Gary Boob and stuff like that, but like I say, when he was boxing and uh, he was just a hell of a character. His fights always one way or the other. They're always over early. You see him when I was working at Stretford Arndale Centre. Oh, worked there for about seconds. four years. He's always up to something, Gary. Always selling something. If you wanted it, he'd get hold of it. <laughs> Seconds out, round two. Whatever arches he's got on there, there's no way he's paid full price for them, Al. I'll tell you that for a fact. Might be a bit jackal, then. <laughs> Good job. The stab downstairs from the last of that. Not any of the uh, the woos from Riaz tonight. I think he's uh, he's got his game face on. He knows he's now a heavy opponent. Don't want no messing. Other well, fights we've got coming up tonight. We've got Andy Kremner, Kremner the Krem. He's in with Jack McCormack, Steve Brogan. He's in with Yusuf Alamidi, Mark Thompson's in with William Warburton. Tell you something else, speaking of bread, have you seen the uh, Sylvester Stallone advert for Warburton? No, I can't. Oh, I've they're brilliant, they are. Sylvester Stallone doing a Warburton's advert, it's great. It's come down hill there, yes, isn't it? Yeah. It's dropping there, isn't it? Levels, uh, you know, about it, levels, levels is there. I wasn't going to say it actually, but you know, you, if you're going to bring me on to the subject, Al, it is all about levels. You were Warburton's family, are you, Al? You know, we, we used to be Rathbones when I was a kid, and that, I think that was kind of died a death, hasn't it? I don't, I don't really have bread, to be honest. Do you not? Well, I'm not allowed, am I? Yeah, well, you've not always been a boxer, have you? It's not, you've got to play that card. To be honest, I have whole this fixed lives with a load of butter on it. All right, yeah. When I, when I, when You're I'm listening, not, Woody. Do you hear that? That's why. I'm not training, <laughs> I write a load of butter on it. Nice uppercut there as well from Gillespie. Picking his shots well. In total control in there. Just as I say that, cops one yes. on the head. Turning well. AJ Fazy, he's in with Lou, Lou Bass, Pricky McKinsey. I said, like, well, away division. Chris Conwell, nice kid, talented. At Murray Machines camp. He's in with David Nade. Top of the bill, Jimmy Kelly Jr. He's in with Isaac Airy. WBC Youth Life middleweight title, 10 three minute rounds. I was due to be on round about 10 past 10. Let's be in total control in there. Red shorts of Gillespie, black shorts of Riaz. He's controlled Riaz better than most there. Eh? Now the Riaz can cause call, call, um, some party problems. Jesus, that, that right hand nearly hit someone ringside there now. Sure one of the lights has went out in here. So I think Alan and Dex job's safe in it. We're not, we're not pulling up too many trees tonight, are we meeting you, Ella? I don't know, I, I thought we are doing well. <laughs> Put us in. What do you think of Rutter and Nutter? It's the end of our Al's probationary period tonight. I've got to make a decision: are we keeping him on or not? Nice shots from Gillespie again. Impressive here, Gillespie. Fighting at his own pace, making his shots. Nice left hand on the turn there as well. That was a nice shot. Good job. Good long jump. Two in the back there for Gillespie. Two out. Two out of two. Two out of two, I think you're on camera there, Al. You might want to smile. Manchester TV. Look at that fringe there. 
Good way of talking to it. You want to, you want to plug anyone there who's responsible for the nice jacket there? It's for Ron Atkinson or um, Suntan. There's any local sunbed shops you want to plug? No. No, mate. No, no. I don't use a sunbed. I'm all in skin. Is that what it is, mate? Yeah. All in skin. You want to put that camera on Gary Booth there? You want to have a look at that baseball cap? Manchester Metropolitan Police are looking for a consortment of moody baseball caps. Why has got that on it? Live on VIP Boxing TV. He's Rutter, I'm the Nutter. Corners, 10 seconds. We're here. VIP Boxing TV. Second out, round three. People on the internet there, I'll just type in things in search. Lynn. Just got me and you come up. One of the moody movies you get. Well, a lot, I think I'll have a load of um, lady followers after that. A load of new ones. A load of lady boy followers. <laughs> I don't know about lady followers. How is your love life, Al? Are we doing all right? I don't want to talk about it. It's not, it's not going that well. It's not going that well, is it? <laughs> Martin Smith tweeted in. MHS 1977 on Twitter. Freeview Channel 8. Hashtag That's Manchester. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Manchester, it shouldn't be spelled T I should it's like T double A A in it. Yeah, it needs to be the Manchester, in it. Yeah. In it, bro. In it, mate. Live in the ring here now, Lee Gillespie, Manchester lad, he's in with Ibra Riaz. Good body shot there. Ibra Riaz from Reading. I think he felt that body shot there, Riaz. Big goal for big There he is. There we go. Flares out. You're not you're not watching TNA, you're not watching WWE. Met Ric Flair a few weeks ago at Leeds. Went met him. Ric Flair the wrestler. But, was in Leeds. I don't know how many more there was. I'll show you a picture on my phone in between rounds, though. Turned up, rocked the joint. Had a good night. Styling, profiling, jet flying. We're a bit young. For you. You're probably a bit young, but Axel Jim Duggan's over in a few weeks. We're, what, we're meeting him, the Million Dollar Man. But, Ha 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 that didn't sound the best. You're showing your age here, sir. I don't know none of these. You're showing me age, but I don't look it, do I? As long as I don't, don't you're look it well, mate. You're looking well. Nice combination there from Gillespie. Speaking of combinations, you know, Paul, Paul Smith's been accused of having a couple of variety meals, hasn't he? You know, that's a big fight tonight. You know, Paul Smith, you know, Broner and Porter, you know, they're all catchweights, these fights, yeah. aren't they? You know, I mean, we're I mean, having weight divisions within weight divisions, aren't we? Good boxing again from Gillespie there. He's enjoying himself in there now. Where do you, where'd you sit with catchweights, Al? Um, if it's a non... I, I don't really know, because for these top-level guys, it probably kills them to make the weight. It's a hard struggle, so when there's nothing on the line, maybe two, three pounds leeway, but sometimes it just... It's, I don't really know, to be honest. So, you know, what about you, Al? So, you know, the, the, the vision, you're... Oh, no, we right hand there, just back in action, you know. Well, Gillespie, he's, he's not... He's not having to work hard to pick these shots, I think that's, no, that's a probably very, sticking at that. I'd like to perhaps even step it up now, really put it on Riaz. Go through the gears a little bit. Do you know what, it's ideal weight for you, you know what, is it just now because your body's acclimatised, you know, you, yeah. you're all used to sticking to divisions. You know, Al Heyman's being, he's been being given a lot of stick. I think that's what he's trying to do over there, isn't he? Take away the belt, yeah. so he's got control. I know when De Gale won the won the belt the other week, you know they were saying you don't get presented with a belt in the ring, and no, so I felt a bit it's... there for De Gale. Yeah. It meant a lot to him, didn't it? And I like James De Gale, a sort of fight off. One of my Another good round there for Gillespie. Box well. But the most difficult thing I've just seen there was Gary Booth trying to get in the corner. Then get out the corner. Top bloke, Gary Booth. Says a lot, Gary Boo's blowing more there in the corner than his boxer is. Then when he gets out, he gets given a bottle of water and a little shake down and checks he's all right. Last round, touch gloves. Impressed me tonight, Gillespie. Get the tweets coming in, guys. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. What do you make of the action so far? I think I read somewhere that Gillespie was an, um, an ex ABA champion. Oh, ten seconds. You can see he's got. Seconds Last out for the fourth and final round. Fourth and final round. And Declan West come ringside now, celebrating his win. Looks like he's ready to go in it late down centre. 
Have you ever been to Leo? No, I don't no, think I want to either, mate. It's not got a lot going for it, mate. Back in the ring now, Gillespie. Nice jab again there. A long, stiff jab. Nice, nice intent on the jab. I like what Gary Booth's saying there. I'd like to see him double up on the jab. But a bit like an old car in there, Gillespie. You know, at the beginning, you know, he kind of just... You know, once it's got started, it's ticking over. It's, like, it's, a, it's yeah. a sound runner, isn't it, Al? Yeah, it looks like he's just boxing it at his own pace, so he's comfortable, but it looks like he's got plenty of gears to go yeah, for him. He's going to be looking for a step up, and then Gary Booth, Gillespie began on the phone to Steve Wood. I think he's his first fight back for a few years. I think he had a few years out. Nice left hand to the body as well. Stalking and hunting him now. Next fight coming up, Andy Creme de la Creme. Jack McCormack, that's in the lightweight division. Then we've got Steve Brogan in with Yusuf Alamidi, Mark Thompson in with William Warburton, AJ Fazy, Lubos Brahimahiki, Chris Conwell in with David Nade. And top of the bill, top of the shot, WBC youth fight middleweight title, Jimmy Kelly Jr. and Isaac Airy. 10 three minute rounds. Looking forward to that fight. Jimmy Kelly, what, what do you know about Jimmy? How far do you think he can go out? I think he can go all the way. I've seen him um, since the amateurs. He was always, like, I think he was a year older than me. So he was always in the finals and the semi finals of the ABAs uh, every year. He was, he was the name that you'd always see on the sheet. So you could see, and he was stopping people as an amateur when he was young. So you could see when uh, when he was kids that he was going to go all the way. And he's, and he's proven that so far with performances as a pro. Yeah, definitely. He's one of the stars of the VIP stable. That Lee Gillespie's going to be trying to join that mix. Been a good performance here. Refs just, having, just telling him off there. Just picked his shot well. He's just gone through the motions, gone through the gears. Could tell him a lot stronger in there as well. Probably yeah. a division apart. Yeah, he's a, he's a big lad in there, isn't he? I've been reading on Twitter this week. Dave Caldwell was talking with Steffi Bull and Steve Wood. He said it's, it's getting more and more difficult to match the likes of yourself, all you know, these young. Young kids starting out, desperate for opponents. You've got to try and get them the right kind of opponent as well. And obviously, British board, boxing board of control are turning more and more fights down now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to be a promoter out there. So I always wanted to do. I think uh, if I get a manager's license, I think I'll be happy with that. To be honest, good performance there from Gillespie. First time I've seen him live. Box well, 40, 36 for me. Well, shaking a few cobwebs off, well done. The pass over now. The pass over to Berry's Michael Buffer. Just lost the stream there, we are back now. Somebody thought it'd be funny outside near the bar to pull the plug out. Ladies and gentlemen, after four hard fought rounds of boxing, referee John Latham has adjudged this particular contest 40 points to 36 points for your winner, hailing from Earlham, still undefeated now in four professional contests, Lee Lightning Gillespie. And a brave performance, as always, from Smoking Ibra Rias. A short advert break there. Damien Jones has tweeted in. He's asking me to take Rutt around Lee. That won't be happening. Join you after these short advert breaks. Cheers, guys.